Hey everyone, Tim once again with the Word of Life Church. Our address is 3342 Midway Street, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37921. That's the Word of Life Church. Our pastor there is Junior Mount, and as always, on behalf of Pastor Mount, the congregation, and myself, I'd like to offer you an open invitation. Come out and be with us for service. Hope everyone is doing well, and uh, when this video finds you, whenever whenever you watch it, <laughs> whoever watches, uh, hope it blesses your heart and you get something from it. Uh, time changes happen. Praise the Lord. I wish we'd just leave it alone. Wish they just change it one, you know, leave it one way or the other, not deal with it. Uh, you know, it, uh, but it's changed and, you know, you know, longer hours and, you know, the afternoon and stay day a lot longer, you know, however, how they, how is, you know, they mess with the time and all that and, uh, you know, whatever. It's, you know, I like it because it's getting closer to spring, summer, how the times and seasons and all that stuff, you know. But uh, even closer to warmer weather, that's always good, you know. Spring's coming. But uh, so the storms <laughs> that come along the spring and the summers, we got that to worry about too and deal with. But, you know, the Lord, he's... he's always looking out for us and uh, he always keeps his hand on us you know and uh, you know, we live in an area that uh, we've been pretty pretty blessed you know that uh, we haven't had much really in the way of uh, um, anything bad really happening storm related to us and so we you know we praise the Lord for that uh, there's areas people live in that have been hit pretty hard you know of course people that live down of course toward the coast and everything well of course they get hit quite a bit and and of course areas that live you know and that are uh, prone to uh, uh to tornadoes and such like that so uh but uh you know we live really in an area that uh, just doesn't get hit a lot with all that you know but uh so we do appreciate we thank the lord that uh area we live in that we don't have much and <laughs> we pray <that laughs> oh hope that it stays that way so uh but anyway uh hope everyone as i said is doing well bless the lord and uh just don't want to come on and uh try to get a video done um don't know when the last one did i don't know i guess it was friday maybe last week thursday or friday but uh Hadn't been feeling too well the last couple of days, or would have gotten one done. Uh, so you guys remember some prayers. Still remember uh, my sister. Uh, my goodness, well she's a sister as well. So, but <laughs> my mother-in-law in prayer. She's still in the hospital. Um, still uh, waiting to see when she can go home. So still remember her in prayer and uh, remember all those sick and afflicted. Still, you know, quite a few. You know, you know, people I think still kind of getting the, the flu at certain times, but I think that train is finally heading out of here and it's gone finally. But, uh, you know, we're still, we're still prone to get some kind of, you know, bugs and viruses and sicknesses, you know, at this, while we're, while we're here, you know, in this flesh. So, uh, just, you know, let's pray for one another and, uh, know the Lord can move upon each and every one of our needs and our prayers and uh, you know he's a uh, he's a loving father and he uh, he does he hears and answers prayers for us and uh, just uh, pray for one another lift one another up in prayer and uh, you know that's that's the thing about it. you know some of you I may I may never see some of you I may I don't even I may not, never even meet may never know may never you know, but that's the beauty of it. If you're a brother and sister in Christ, pray for one another. It doesn't matter. If you're a brother and sister in Christ, you pray, the Lord can still move. And that's the wonderful thing about it. Uh, he can still move. And it, it's the prayer. It's that prayer of faith that saves and that heals. Uh, it's by our faith. That, and that's the faith that moves God and let me tell you, he still moves he still moves by our faith so 
Go ahead and return to the Let's go do a kind of action. There was several. I, I, I was actually do, doing some things earlier, and this several things actually kind of just come to me out of the uh, book of Hebrews, but uh, there were several things that was like, no, this is going to be for a later message and everything. So, But this is what kind of came to me for this right here. So uh, if you've got your Bibles and... Uh, or your phones or computers or whatever situation you're in. Uh, let's go to the book of Hebrews and uh, chapter 1 and verse 1. Let's do a little bit of, do a little bit of studying. A little reading here. Not much really noteworthy or newsworthy going on. You know, they really bring up. Not that much of it has really that way you know like i said i used to do those <clears throat> uh news videos and kind of keep things people up to date but you know and if anything i i still think might be really that way i still might bring it up in separate videos and such and i do some of those uh satanic ritual videos separate from my these videos if I think they're um, some of them are just you know some of them I don't even take that serious now if some of them I believe that they believe and that they hold and that they are praying against, not that they aren't always, but ones that they are holding a, a real type of strong ceremony, and that they are doing things. I'll see how to put this. Well, I'm trying to keep it <laughs> their family friendly. Uh, doing real serious things. That's why I, I bring it up. Uh, and. Uh, check from the next one uh, it really is some of them are just you know just small ones you know be the same as your you know some of these kids get out and it's, it's a bad anyway you know but you're you know you let kids get out and play around experiment with it which they shouldn't anyway and I hope Hope parents and everything are keeping an eye on your kids. You know what's going on and know what your kids are doing, and you know, like, don't just you know let your kid walk in your room. And I'm done. You know, and I can't tell you how to raise your kid because like I, said, I don't have kids. But you know, I would hope that you know, you know, <laughs> that you would go in your kid at some point, and not just let them walk in there and shut the door and lock it and don't let don't even let you see what's inside their room and such like that because you know they can you know hide a lot of stuff you know and uh you know just uh there's a lot of stuff they can hide uh like those kids like the uh like the columbine you know parents never went in and checked the room and when they you know went in had all this stuff in there now there's some that that i think genuinely don't know some of the stuff that they have in there because they go in and hide it and there's some stuff that I think that these people just to cover themselves going oh, I had no idea they had all this stuff yeah so but I believe you guys especially you guys that are Christians and everything believe that you know what you what your kids are into uh, I believe, and I know, I know, I don't play, and I really believe, especially if you knew your kids were doing it in anything, like even experiment, you, you'd be setting them straight. You really would be setting them straight. I know that, and I, I believe your kids wouldn't be doing anything like this anyway. But just getting back to what I was saying, even trying to experiment and stuff like that, they wouldn't even be. They'd be. They'd be. They'd be trying to set these other kids straight, saying, "What are you doing this junk for?" You know, you need, you know, you need to come over. You need to come over to the winning side. A song, song like that. So, 
At any rate, that's why I keep people updated about the real serious stuff. Uh, we talk about, uh, you know, that's why I, I don't, uh, if it's something real serious uh, of that nature or some other nature, I still kind of will bring bring it to the forefront and let people know. So, all right. But anyway, oh, uh, let's see. Uh, Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 1. It says, God who at sundry times, or various times, and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. See, that's how he communicated. That's the only way. That's, that's how he communicated through the prophets to us. Or not to us, rather. <laughs> Sorry. Text come through, call come through, had to pause it. Let's get back on my train of thought here, so you have to excuse me. <laughs> to the people, to Israel. <laughs> We're in the new covenant, so I, that I guess is how my mind is. <laughs> how it's how it's twisted toward that way. That's it. That's how it, at various times and diverse manners in time past, he spake unto the fathers by the prophets who the fathers talking about Paul talking about <clears throat> excuse me talking about the prophets talking about how through that only through the prophets well I suppose they said that nobody had the privilege they had to come in you know through the, the whole you know the, the whole system you know and do you know the sacrifices and how that all that was set up and you know, the, uh, through the wilderness, and then of course how the, as the when the nation was set up, and how the the whole you know Levitical priesthood was set up, and you know eventually how that got to be <laughs> the time, especially at the time when uh, when uh, the Lord Jesus came and walked the earth, how corrupt that became even way before him how corrupt that had become before that because if you, if you remember in the book of Ezekiel it had talked about how corrupt and how evil that the priesthood had become talks about at one point that at times during the day you know they were out I'm paraphrasing a little bit here. But if you want to read about it, the book of Ezekiel talks about, you know, they were out, you know, doing their priestly duties, you know, you look at, you know, wearing, the, you know, the priestly robes and going about, you know, sh you know, shining and, you know, look who, you know, look, look, look at who we are, you know, doing God's work. Sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. Look who we are doing God's work, you know, in the temple. But at nighttime, they thought nobody was watching them. And they thought nobody was watching them. Didn't think about God, did they? Or, you know, think they even care? Well, I mentioned they, that they believed that God no longer watched them. I'm not paraphrasing, but this, you can go in there and we'll read it. We could go back there and read it, but I, 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 this is kind of. Uh, sort of actually come into the, the message. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> that I believe God no longer watched them. He, he just no longer even paid attention to him anymore. But, and basically they were doing whatever, you know, but what am basically amounted to uh, satanic worship inside the temple, you know, the Lord was showing Ezekiel through special vision inside the temple. All the things that the priests were doing and the things that they were worshiping. Basically, they were going back 
you know, satanic worship. Maybe they're doing the things that amounted to what they were they were Babylonian type worship, you know, child sacrifice type worship. You know, the worship of Molech, you know, bring you know, pass making their child pass through the fire. Anyone remembers that? Still going on today. At the, at the very least, it's still going on in that way. Yes. At the very least, it's a, the abortion. So, but it's it the uh, it's going on the in the ancient way as well. But the Lord was showing Ezekiel exactly what was going on. So, the Lord was given Ezekiel, yes, special vision about what was going on. Amazing how man corrupted, corrupt himself. Isn't that what Paul was talking about when he mentioned the very first about the church at the, or the, the, Colo at the church at Colossae? He marveled. He said out how, how soon they were so soon, or how they were so soon removed from their faith. How they how how they how they were so soon removed from the faith, and how they were you know how they'd given in to other things, and you know the other teachers that come in brought and they come in and brought uh, the, the law back in. We're trying to place them back under the law. And I've been doing a lot of looking in about that here lately. I think we mentioned in a couple of videos a while back about about the Hebrew roots movement or, or, or the Hebraic roots movement. So, and I, I, in the past, I had got kind of been some looking into, but especially since I've been talking about it, I thought, well, you know what, I'll just start some looking into. It. And of course, there again, it's the same thing. You have you have people that do. You know this much of it and then you have somebody that goes to the end of it and just takes it to the utmost extremes just as I pretty much mean and, and, and you can do anything that way right there are some you know that do it just a little bit that keep the feasts and the holiday the holiday the, the feast days that still recognize that you know hey this is doing absolutely really nothing for me as far as my salvation but that it is you know the Lord Jesus or you know Yeshua I use both were I use both names interchangeably you know same Yeshua Jesus same you know And they and you, you probably have seen me or, or seen me heard me use that name before many many times. You know, it's just the 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 name I means you know salvation. You know, Jehovah is salvation. You know, and they use that name a lot too. Yahshua, uh, 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 Yeshua, Jesus talk about the same person okay it's you know Jesus he's our Lord our King our Savior our God okay talk about the same person but some people would oh my goodness you know yeah okay well it's whatever whatever they'll let do you know if it makes you feel close or something that's why I say about uh, some people will say you know no you better not lock the law is done you better not do anything of it you know okay fine if you don't that's fine. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not pushing for or or against either. Now, 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 the one I'm talking about, the extreme part, and this goes along with what we're talking about. I'm talking about the law and the prophets. The extreme part say that you still you still must keep the law. If you don't, then. You know that you're not. That's you know. No matter if you 
you know, that you keep out, you know, that you get saved with the Lord, by the Lord Jesus, and you know, He's the way, the truth, and the law. If you don't, if you don't keep that line with the law, then you're not saved at all. So, see, you know, these people are taking some of these are people taking it to the extremes. I do not hold with that at all. You know, it's if you know, if you do nothing with the law, period, it's the Lord Jesus. You know, Him. You know. By th through him, his blood shed on the cross, by his death, burial, and resurrection, it is, he said, it is finished. By his death, burial, and resurrection. And he's sitting at the right hand of the Father, making intercession and prayer. It is, you know, through repentance in him and faith in him. That's where our salvation lies. If you want to keep the feast, the tabernacles feast, you know, uh, the, you know whatever, uh, you know, then fine. Knock yourself out. You know, you're not relying on it for your as part of your salvation. You know, some people, some people take it. Uh, think I take it too far because uh, I I talk against uh, Christmas and and the way I do. You know, like no tree, uh, no Santa Claus, uh, uh, no, uh, Easter, no 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 Easter egg, and no uh, no Easter money and everything. So some people think I I take things to the extreme. Well, it's just children's stuff. It's just get yeah, but you're starting them off on a path of lies. Okay, so. Once you start them off on the path of truth and everything, and then all's fine, and you don't have to worry about, you know, you're not lying to your children, and you know, you're not starting off, you're not starting any of that off. And you don't have to worry about it. So, anyway, the other stuff, let that be upon your own conscience. There again, that just shows you can take something, either do it like this, or you can do it like this. But in those days, various times and diverse manners, he spake unto the fathers. You know, he spoke, you know, Mount Sinai through Moses. You know, Moses came down, his face was so bright that you know, Moses can't can't stand it. We got to put got to put something over your face. Got to hell over your face. You know, built you know had the ark, put the commandments in, and you know carried that around and all the way up to the point. You know, the, the, the you know they started. You know, they, the the Levitical priesthood and went all the way and you know made through the temple. You know, at some various sundry times or various times in diverse manners. In times past, God, He spoke to us. Or spoke to I, I, he's saying spoke to them. Well, I'm saying that not spoke to us. Spoke in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, but during that time, that's how he spoke to him through the prophets. But that's how he had to do it. Again. Did he have to do it? That's how he chose to do it. See, he could have done. Think about this. Think about that. He could have done it. He could have done it some other way. Why did he? Why did he do it? What did he say, brother? Oh, you're asking all these questions. That well, some of these questions is going to gender strife and everything. No, I'm just asking them. Just a simple question to maybe stir up your pure minds. You know, you're thinking. You know, why did he? Why did he? Why did he choose? To speak through or to us through a group of people back in the day like that called the prophets. How, why did he choose to do it the way he did that way? Why did he choose to do it that way? You know, in the band that he did. And but how would we know that he chose that way by him doing a different way? How would we know even to ask that question? Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's, uh, 
I just did that. My dog about jump a lot. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> no, you know how would we know that? You know if he did. How would we? How would we know even to ask that question? That's all he did. If he did it a different, you know, that's, that's the way he did it. So we wouldn't even be, you know, we wouldn't even ask that question if, if he did it a different way. Is anybody getting what I'm asking, or, or, or my, my my train of thought there? We wouldn't even know to ask that question because he would he would have did it maybe a different way. Maybe he would, you know. See what I'm saying? I I, I, I like thinking that way. I don't know why. It's just it's just one of those I don't know one of those things that you like to like to wonder. You like to think about. You like to try to wonder and meditate about and think about the mind of God not that you'd ever understand it mind you just about his majesty and how grand and glorious and you know about how you know, how omniscient he is yeah <laughs> omnipresent he is and how you know just who he is but you know why do you use how in this manner how why do you use to speak to us this method you know a group of people of prophets and how he you know th through him and uh, the, the a, pro a, a, a system that way of a, a, a prophet a prophetical system to speak through us you know a, a holy system to speak to, I know we because because he's so grand and go, and everything, and he you know because you know because he because no one can come to him because he is you know he no one can come to him because he is so perfect and holy, but could it have been done a different way than the way that's been done? That, that, that's wow just I mean that's just something to think about I mean you know it's 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 inter interesting to me to, to think like that but that's just the way he did it, right that's that's what that's it God's word that's the way he he chose to do it and that's what we have right here various times in diverse manners different way you know various times and Different manners, diverse, diverse way, you know, manners. That's the way he did it in the old days. That's how he spake to the children of Israel. Didn't do it to any other of the nations. <laughs> well, you know, he, uh, <laughs> he, uh, you know, he didn't. Definitely didn't speak. You know, he used he he uh, used the edge of the sword through the nation of Israel. Yeah, but well, the other nations were well, the, the you know nations that were well, well were giant nations were you know genetically you know altered nations. Uh, you know, and uh, you know nations of you know Babylonian and fallen nations and you know and you know evil nations and just that's that's a whole other study right there but in verse 2 so I didn't mean to go off in a tantrum right there but that just come to me right there just thinking about you know about why you know and I do that quite quite a bit think about that you know it's like why do you why why is it this way? Why is it that way? And I just, I, you know, you sit there and you just think, you wonder, and you sit there and you, one of those, one of those meditate, meditation type things upon God, not not in a new agey type way, but meditation upon God's word, and you know, the spirit of God, and you know, thinking about things. But in verse two it said, "Hath in these," and guess what? We're in the last days. Well, that ain't no kind of news. What are you talking about? <laughs> Talk about people saying well, we're in the last days. 
Well, we're no, we're no, we don't think well, I don't think we're in last days because this and this. Well, God's word tells us we are. Well, here it where right here. Hebrews one and verse two hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. So see, that's when I say when I talk about being in the last days, and you know what it talks about. See, when the Lord talked about that when we would see these things happen and these things happen, he talks about, you know, earthquakes and divers places, pestilences and all that stuff. You would know and see, you know, the seasons and everything that we would know and everything. We talk about, and I mentioned this, that one of the things, hey, that we would know that we were in the last days and that we know we're in the last days. We've been in the last days since after the cross. Well, right here we right here you have it. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. That there's your answer. Said whom he hath appointed heir of all things. By whom also he made the worlds. Wow. Oh man, man, man! Oh, oh, oh! I can't. I, I'm getting, I'm getting one of those medita meditation moments coming on here. <laughs> Y'all gonna think I'm crazy and think I'm one of those new age uh, guys or something like that. I'm, I'm not. I promise. So nobody, nobody mess with this video and m move it around, drag around, take and do try to maybe look like some kind of a new age person. Just don't do it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm saying, I just. Sometimes I just, when you get, it's just, you know, it just, when you, when you get in here and you, I, seriously, I, you got, to, I know you guys do the same thing. When you get in the Word of God, you sit there and you meditate on it and all these things, the Spirit of God just gets on the top of your head, the sole of your feet, and it just, you just sit there and you just think about it. And it just, it opens up your your thinking, your pure minds talks about, and and that's awesome because that's that's you know that's what I find because it's God's words alive, it's living, it's the living word because you know it is, it's the word of God. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. We beheld His glory. It's the, it's a it's a living word. It's spoken unto us by His Son. I see it. I'll check that out hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. Did you catch that? Whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. Did you catch that first part? Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. Jesus. When he was alive, told them all things. When he was around, they walked with him. The apostles walked with him. Right? Yeah. Talked to him, gave him wisdom, gave him knowledge. You know, even told him, you know, Peter said, Whom do you say I am? You know, they're out the Christ, the Son of the living God. Flesh and blood didn't reveal this to you, but my Father, which is in heaven. Right? More than that, ain't it? Said, hath in these last days, we're in these last days, we're still in the last days right now. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son. He's still speaking to us. The living word. The word of God is still speaking. He is still speaking to us right now. As we read God's word, he's still speaking to his son, he's still speaking to us right now as we read to his word. As I'm talking right now, speaking to us right now, it's it's not I'm not saying that I'm <laughs> that I'm the son of God. I'm a son of God. After the cross, 
Now, before the cross, sons of God were angels. But after the cross, we can be counted sons of God. Amen. But as in these last days, he spoke to us by his son. And he had appointed heir of all things. Heir of all things. Guess what? We're appointed. We've been appointed heirs to the throne of God. Right? When we gave in, gave in, and got rid, let our sins go, asked the Lord to save us, gave in, get, let our sinful life go, let go of this, our sinful flesh, asked the Lord to save us. Let go of this nasty old sinful flesh and say, Lord, I want you to save me. I reject this sinful flesh. I don't want to do it anymore. I give in. I get I get I give Lord, I want you to save me and come into my heart. I'm done. I'm done with this life. I'm done. You know, I'm done. I'm done eating after the swine. I want to <laughs> the, the, the prodigal son. I want to come home and eat with the father. The table is spread, and it's waiting for me. Comes home, wraps a rope around, him, puts a ring on his finger. Pointed heir of all things. He does to us when we come home, right? When we give him, when we ask for salvation, when we say, Lord, forgive me. Come into my heart, save me. All that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. He said, By whom also I love the little man, I love it. by whom also he made the worlds. There's something more in that. There's something more in it. By whom also he made the world. There's something more to glean out of that. So much too much more too much more to go into it right now. But there's 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 much there's some there's some more stuff to glean out of that right there. By whom also he made the worlds. Man, ooh, man, I'm telling you. It's going all up down my spine. Oh, man. That's just... People... Uh, they, you, when people say there's... there's oh, man, the Bible's just dull. Man, it's just, there's just nothing in it. You know, I just can't hardly stand to read it. Dude. I just... You know, I, I just sit and read it, and you know, I just can't, you know, get nothing out of it. Because it's spiritually discerned. The natural man gets nothing out of the word of God it's a spiritual man that be in the spirit and pray on what you're reading and be in the spirit see I can say it right before and I've, and I've said this before right before I do these videos or before I pick up a Bible or get online on a Bible like I do before this and the spirits the bad ones want to sit and want to pound you and oppress you and depress you to where you don't even want to hit the record button don't even want to hit the I go to this blue letter Bible and there's there's Bible hub and there's there's so many there's so many different ones that you can get online or I can pull up one on my phone here or I, I've got I've got a, a Bible a KJV Bible app on my phone here or I got my Bible setting up here I've got them all around me here yeah, but you know and you know so many but you know spiritually discerned through the, the Holy Ghost of God but you gotta pray who can show you and open up he can open up but you got to want it you got to desire it it said you can't you can't open up 
your browser not go to it you can't ever turn it access it on your phone you can't ever not pick it up and you just let the Bible up here set and get dust all over it you know take it to church one day of the week and you know I've seen people take their Bibles in the church now I'm not saying our church or any specific church but I've you know I've just seen in general in some churches some people carry their Bible in they'll set it beside them and won't even open it they'll just bring it in you know hey I praise the Lord and they'll set the Bible beside them they'll sit there through the service and it lays there beside them they won't open it. I, that makes me wonder do, do, they, do they at home none of my business I'm just wondering I just have to wonder you got to open it, study it, and the Lord can show you so much. That is full of not this book, right? God's Word. It, it is so full of knowledge of things. Unbelievable about who God is, who the Lord Jesus is, the Holy Ghost, about creation, about what happened during creation about what happened during the time up to this point about what's going to happen the time from this point all the way up to when the Bible says Amen and the book's closed mm. Imagine <laughs> when that book's closed, what we're going to be doing. Oh, brother, what do you mean if that, when that book's closed? How do you know it? Just think about it. Just think, I'm thinking about it. Just think about it. Think about what I'm saying. I'm not talking about it. I'm th th just think about it and just using that as an example when the books are finally closed and everybody is where they are going to be for eternity where are you going to be Man. by whom also he made the worlds mm, my goodness love to go in that by three it says who being the brightness of his glory. We got along here. And the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. See, there's... <laughs> Uh, or maybe I maybe I, I went a little bit too far with some of this other stuff to be able to get a lot of this up because there's so much in this right here. My goodness, <laughs> who by the brightness of his God, I just can't I won't be able to get it all in here. Who by the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, the express image of his person. You know, one of the best things, best examples I can give when I'm talking about this. Is when the when the the apostle or the disciples asked Jesus about when they were going to when he was going to show them the Father, and he just outrightly told them. He said, "How long have I been with you?" He said, "If you've seen me, you've seen the Father." If you know, how long have I been with you? If you've seen me, you have seen God. Oh, you've seen his love. You've seen his <laughs> how he how he acts towards you. How he yeah, you know at one point his anger about <laughs> you remember at that point at one point about when he braided a whip and whipped the people out of the. Uh, the uh, temple by making 
God's house, a house, you know, a, a den of thieves, you know. So he could be a, he was a father, a loving father, a children. Said, you know, hey, suffer him, let him come to me. Used him as an example. Sermon on the Mount. So many things. He gave him an example. Show him. But if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Express the image. The Transfiguration. Mount. Now there's stuff in there that we just can't, get, you know, like, you know, We can't just, there's, there's so much there, I just can't, with the 15 minutes left, there's, there's no way I can get in all this, all this. But this is upholding all things by the word of his power. I, 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 that's another one right there, upholding all things by the word of his power. My goodness. Think about that. Upholding all things by His word, word of His power. By His, by Him. <laughs> spoke, spoke things by His word. His word, His power. Just by His word. Let there be. Create by his word. By the word of his power. Let me tell you another big one, another good one. It is finished. And that goes around up it goes it goes around goes around when he had himself purged our sins. goes with that don't when he said it is finished word of his power purged our sins right there he said it is finished looked over at the malefactor the you know the thief on the cross remember me Remember me when you enter your kingdom. The one that said, uh, you know, hey, I, I you know, t told the other thief, you know, said, you know, be quiet, you know. you know. Hush, you know. You know, we belong here. This man has done nothing to be on this cross. You know, we, 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 we belong, we, we did our, we committed sin. We, we committed a crime. We belong up here. This man has done nothing. Remember me when you enter your kingdom. That little bit of faith right there. What's it? This day. This day. That did nothing. This man did nothing else. Man, this man didn't get baptized. This man didn't step into the door of a church. This man didn't give any in the offering. <laughs> this man, this man didn't get on any board or any do anything inside of a church or didn't do anything else. But with faith, so well, that's all he had time for. That's you know he just that's that was a, kind of a a one time situation. Well, yeah, maybe, but you know what? That one time was enough, wasn't? Remember me when you enter into your kingdom. So he had faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. At the stake, you'll be with me in paradise. You know what? I absolutely 100% believe that.
very worse. This is, I believe, the person does the same thing, and immediately, five minutes later, they're going to five minute rule again. If something happens and they go into glory, guess what? They got saved and they go to heaven without ever having done anything else. Now, am I saying that? There will be other things that you'll do after you get saved and that if you live a long time after your salvation. Sure, absolutely. You get baptized. You will have good works. You will do other things in the church, outside the church. Absolutely. You might even do some of the other stuff like I said earlier about doing those feasts thing you know like and you know doing some of the feasts of the town you know like the the, the, the Hebrew types of the root movement if, if you if you, if you want to or some of this other stuff that may have nothing whatsoever to do with your salvation as long as you realize that it doesn't have anything to do with your salvation but you might do it just for just to have the experience who knows there might be other things. I don't know. But then you might not. You might get saved and the Lord call you home five minutes after that point. I'm just using that as an example. I get down on t down too much on denominationality. I said it right. <laughs> I guess I uh, must say this, but I guess I get too much down, get too much down on denominational ties and stuff like that. People say, "Well, we got to have them, but otherwise there would be confusion and people mad at each other and people in churches, you know, fighting against each other and everything. And that's why we each got to have our own denomination to go into and our belief system and everything." Well, I, I don't know. I suppose I don't. I don't like it. I wish we could. I wish we could get over that and find a way where everybody can be Christians. And all worship together, as God's word, God's word tells us to. But he purged us from our sins. And now he's sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Except being made so much better than the angels. Being made so much better than the angels. Amen. Absolutely. Because he's the son of God. That's, that's, that's all. <laughs> there again, so much, there's so much here that go into a study right here that you can dissect a, a bunch of other stuff right there. But being made so much better than the angels. But you got to remember he condescended to man of low estate. He but made himself lower than the angels. We're made a little lower than the angels. One of these days, though, we're going to be right up there. We've got a plan that the angels look into, are desirous to look into, that plan of salvation. Whew, man, it's so being made so much better than the angels, as he hath, by inheritance, obtained a more excellent name than they. Hmm. That's a wish I could. That's a study right there in itself. I probably need to stop right there. We that that's right there. Is a, that's 
that's a whole block block of study right there in itself in itself in itself can't talk in itself but we we have an inheritance too one of these days I'm looking for it aren't you you're saved I'm looking for it I've got that inheritance too. You're going to have that inheritance too. Glorified body. Waiting for us. He said, New Jerusalem. He said, I, I go away. To prepare a place. He said, I go, if I go away, he said, I'm coming back. I, I, he said, if it we're not so, I would have told you. I go away to prepare a place. Go away, I'm going to come again. And so he is, church. Friends, he's coming again. I wish I could go into a lot more detail on some of this stuff here. But he is. Friends, he's coming again. When? Well, when the Father says, go get your church. When that last person, they say, that's what people say. When that last person, that last person is saved and he says, go get your church. <laughs> it'll be time. And well, and it'll be time to go home, right? It'll be time to go home. We each will have to experience death or book of Thessalonians tells us so that the dead in Christ shall rise first and leave that are alive and remain shall be taken up to be the Lord it's it's either one way that either it's, you know one of those ways that's that's either way it's gonna be one of, one of those two ways we got to go we got to go out one of those two ways you know that's that's it we're not getting out here any other way. <laughs> so, that's, yeah. We're going to close right there. I don't want to go much more further than that because, like I said, there's so much. Some of this stuff, I, I've actually kind of glossed just over the top of some of this stuff. And I'm, I'm not saying that no that nobody can't take anything but, but because some of this stuff is so, there's so much stuff that I go deeper into that I, it would take so much time to go into it and talk about it. I, I just, I don't. Right now, it's I'm, I'm, I'm 57 something minutes, and I just I, I try to keep these down to an hour or so. Uh, and uh, this stuff would be like start at, at an hour and stay on like one verse and you dig deep into it and spend the entire hour or over on it. So uh, maybe we need to start doing that. Maybe do ones like these where we do this type of teaching and another take maybe take a series and do that or something like that maybe we need to do that or maybe that's what we ought to, maybe that's what we ought to do uh, that way uh, we can uh, dig a little deeper into uh, the scriptures that way uh, not be good idea not do that and still we need to definitely do the spiritual warfare series that's severely severely lacking uh, in our churches uh, it is it is true it, friends it, it, that is spiritual warfare is lacking in our churches today and it is no wonder people are broken down defeated and knocked around and depressed and oppressed and beat down it's no wonder because the enemy's beat down. They're not being taught the victory and the power that they have through the Word of God and through the Spirit of God on them and in them. So maybe that ought to be the first thing we need to go back to. Spiritual Warfare 101 and go from there. So at any rate, pray about it. Whatever the Lord wants, that's what we want to do. Amen. All right. Okay, well, 
God bless each and every one of you. Blessings in Christ upon each and every one of you. And as always, you spiritual warriors out there that know about spiritual warfare and, and you guys that are prayer warriors, meet me on that battlefield. Let's march against the enemy together. Let's achieve victory together. Amen. All right. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye now.